think the strongest character is in the game? And who is the strongest character in the movie? I think Goro's probably the strongest in the game, right? You know, I feel like he's the biggest and strongest in the game. But in the movie? That's tough. I mean, it's no. Sub-Zero in the movie. I guess Raiden, though. Lord Raiden, he's he's pretty strong, you know, in terms of yeah. he's sort of untouchable. Yeah, that's a tough one, man. They've all got their strengths and weaknesses. That's the thing about the Mortal Kombat universe, right? You know, in the right hands, anyone could be the strongest. I completely agree. Uh, this is not in the movie, but did you guys ever joke around on set and discuss what your character's friendship would be? Really <laughs> so what sort of things? Just tell me, what, what, what do they look like, the friendships? Um, Give like, me an example. Uh, like cooking food or like <laughs> painting a picture or like I think even ice skating. Like oh, just I love that's it. the best. No, but we definitely will now. Yeah, that's funny. Mine would be mine would be Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, who do you think is the most brutal fatality in the game? Some of them are so messed up in a game. Yeah. Like it's it's mental. Yeah, the one like, one that we've spoken about where it's like Kano kills and then dances with the dead body. Yeah, like stabs uh, stabs in the neck with a broken bottle, and then as they bleed out, he just dances with them. I mean, that is some, that's messed up. Uh, this is actually a real question. Um, I think that people who are going to watch the movie, I think people like to learn about stuff that they don't know. So what do you think might surprise people to learn about the making of Mortal Kombat? I think that it's a, a re they really use minimal um, green screen and CGI. It was majority of what you see was really created. And we, we were on real sets in real costumes. And yeah, it was like being in the video game. Yeah, look, I can tell, I mean, you know, I could give you, we, we shot in uh, Australia, we shot in Adelaide in uh, South Australia. And that was, that was amazing to be able to assemble this uh, international cast all the way on the other side of the world down under. Uh, so that was, that was a hell of a lot of fun. Um, but uh, yeah, God, in terms of, Things that might really surprise you. I mean, it may surprise you to learn that I'm not a martial arts expert in real life. Yeah, that's going to shock <laughs> a few people. Yeah. Got it. What? Uh, listen, I uh, I appreciated all the 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 really good action scenes and like what you guys put into making this movie. Which is the day that when you were filming, you're like, oh, this is going to break me. Oh, I think it was potentially uh, our fight at the end, um, particularly once we like fall out of that bathroom window and we're like being, I'm being like dragged on the gravel by Josh. I was like, ouch. And it was like 5 a.m. on Sunday morning. We'd gone shot all Saturday night and it was raining and cold. And I was like, yeah, this is, and it was at the very end of the, uh, very end of the shoot in like December, right before Christmas, before, before we wrapped. I was like, this will break me. <laughs> Yeah, I think for me it was the it's the that scene where I get my arcana where I have to go on this big angry rat where rage is fury is the thing that unlocks his his superpower, right? But you know, in the in the movie it goes for I don't know a few minutes, but uh, those few minutes uh, took about ten hours to shoot. <laughs> it was it. By the end of the day, I felt like I'd uh, <clears throat> I felt like I'd run a marathon with my voice, <laughs> and so I. Uh, I remember going over the end of that day, just collapsing into a heap. I got to stop there. Congrats on the movie. I hope it's a huge hit and you guys get to make another. Thanks That'd so great, much. Nice to meet you, Steve. Thanks, Steve.